Hey guys, just me again with another Lego Transformer. But first, I always show this sign, just for people to know who I am. Good old Troy here. Um, now before I show this, um, there is a person that previously created it, and I have expounded onto it. Uh, his name is Logan Film Studios, and... He invented Holler. Holler is a was a Cybertronian uh, cargo ship, I guess you could say. Uh, what I've done to it is add a new color scheme to it because the original of his was just white with uh, some red pieces, and that's about it. And uh. I've made it a combat ship, making it a li look a little bit different. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on to it. My good old Troy sign would start going. Have to start the engine just like a lawnmower. I'm just kidding. No, it's a wind-up motor like I said in a previous video. Or maybe not. So here is a uh, holler, or in my language, muscle. Muscle is my combat ship. It's a kind of a mini bot. He has this big, gigantic, powerful cannon. Here's the cockpit windows. Um. I also added this blue piece uh, right here, um, cause in the original video of Holler, it just looked like that, and I just decided to add this piece, give it some more character. Um, also in his video, he has, like, uh, these guns, I'm not sure if I can find one, but he has the... He uses the antenna here. He uses an antenna piece, just like uh, this piece right here. He, what he does is he basically does that with it, and he can fold them out to become little guns. But I didn't like that idea, considering that I'm using my best ones on something else. And it didn't really match my color scheme. So, yeah. I also added this uh, blue 2x1 with a stud in the middle, and I used a flame right there. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and transform him. Uh, so... To transform him, what you're going to do, and you can always keep the flame on for this, you do not need to take it off. You're going to fold out these flaps right there. Uh, just fold them almost parallel, parallel to the ground. Uh, then rotate these out. They will become the legs. Now, let me uh, warn you of this. It is not very stable. Considering it will be standing like this, you can always fold in the arms more, but it is not very stable at all. And with the original video that Logan Film Studios made, he had a backpack on, and that just made it worse. So, just in case if you're one of those guys that poses, that wants to make a pose out of him, this is not the guy. Anyway, so what I did, I'm sorry I got talking. Um, you're going to rotate, you're going to rotate, uh, this black piece in the middle around. Here, get in the center of the camera. And you're going to rotate the blue piece around to make it look like that. Uh, flip out the hands and 
move the cannon up there so it supports this. Uh, fold in the arms a little bit. And there is muscle in his robot mode. Now, like I said, he does not stand well. And, uh, yeah, let me just show you. I have him slouching quite a bit. And he's still not trying, uh, standing. Yeah, so I'm just putting him on my lampstand. And he's not standing up. So, yeah, he's not very sturdy of a guy. Uh, but my main color schemes were, like, uh, dark gray, blue, black, and transparent red. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's a big expansion onto what, um, onto what Logan made, and Logan, if you're watching this, I thank you very much for, uh, making a tutorial on this, because this is a really cool transformer to mess around with, um, doesn't take that much parts to build, so yeah, thanks, and thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.